Hey guys, so Learn Girls just recently released a pop-up builder. So I will show you the flow and how you can use it. Um, we will discuss the default way of using the page builder. And I also want to share with you the advanced way on how you can tweak the design of your pop-up builder in Learn Girls. And everything is really easy to configure. Don't worry about that because I will also provide an article version in case I miss some information in this video because I always have a lot of information in the article versus on the video version. So yeah, without further ado, let's begin now. One, two, three. Hey guys, so as I said, I'm going to discuss how you can use the new pop-up features and learn roles and what are the types of pop-ups as well that you can take advantage of. And aside from that, we will also configure our dynamic logic using tags. So first is let me jump into the user account and then go to the all users. And then let's say I just want to see all of our users that open to our free version. So we're going to click that one. And as you can see here, like these are the people who open to our plan and this person opened to the free plan. So I'm not going to tag this person because he upgraded to our premium plan. What I'm going to do is I will just specifically tag those people who just opened to the free plan. I was asking, I actually asked the Learn Worlds if it's possible for us to automatically tag the people who sign up to the free courses, but they haven't responded yet about that. I would let you know, and I'm going to create an article version for this because sometimes I miss some information in this video. So I normally come up with a more details on my article. So better to check that out. Anyway, so let's create a tag first so we can configure our pop up. So click that read that's there. And then like, I think we should updates user i believe so update users yeah update users and i'm gonna create a tag called free users okay so these are our free users they haven't opened to any of our paid plans so let's just update at least um four users and this is a little bit bummer i i just don't know if there is an options for me to do this automatically because it's really pain in the ass to, you know to update them manually so i'm still waiting to learn world's response about that so yes let me just create a sample over here let's say i already fill up everything in here to open to the free plan now we can then jump in to the course so go into your let me go back here I'm going to open another tab here and then we will jump to the free course. So go back to the dashboard and then go to the courses and then go to the free course, which is, I believe, this one. Okay, so we already have the free course. And normally, I think, let me check how the customers behave in here. So I'm going to click this sample here. And let's see what their activity. Basically, they are visiting the course player. They are a brand new one. So let me just take a look at it further here. So they went to the free course. They sign up. They visited the course. But let's see if they, there's other activity over here. I'm just trying to look for other activity. Basically, they are visiting our course pages. So this person is watching the course. So I think I would prefer to have someone to just visit the course page at the same time. They also watch some of our courses. So let's try to click this one. I'm just trying to look for other in here. How about this person? Manual control try another one so what actually happened was there is a manually enrolled because we used teachable before and then we transferred to learn roles that's why there is a manually thing just in case you were wondering about that so what i'm going to do here is i'll try to target those people who just visited our courses at the same time watches our videos in the free version so first is you need to go to the dashboard and then go to the um options where it says free version then let's go into the 
this part so that one and then you click this course um new pop-up and then um i want to come up with an exit indent however you can also come up with your new own design if you want to but i just don't want to stress myself so i'm going to use the exit indent here and yeah so i'm going to use this one or actually this one i would prefer this instead of exit indent i will try to come up with a proportional slide thing thing over here so this one and then we'll name this pop-up as upsell for then this one is for mcp category because we have ebooks we have courses and we also have playbook so um this is a playbook upsell so create one and then in this sections over here i want to target the login users i would say tag users and the free users and then I want to trigger as well if they are on exit pop up. So if they exit the page or something, they will, um, this one will appear. And then I'm going to put in like probably I would just come up with, I can just come up with um, two seconds delay. And for where this pop up should be shown, I just want it to be shown on the courses, specific pages. I would just say specific pages under marketers content, like right? because we want to show this one on the MCP or on the free version. I don't want to see this upsell on other courses because they are not related to each other. So yeah, free courses. And then I will, up, I will create an upsell for the paid playbook. So that's how it works. And then I'm thinking if I just come up with after a page is loaded instead of exit pop up. What do you think, guys? I want to know what's your thoughts about that. I want to come up with show only once. Okay, I only want to show it once. And I want to show it four times. And then every five days, I want to show only one time. We don't want to keep them annoyed with that. So I have that already. And this is MC3, right? So MCP. So we already have this part here. Um, I can also come up with if you want to just trigger a specific devices, it's also possible. So yeah, I just want to um show this pop up into the free user one. Okay. And again, let's just recap this logic in here. I want it to show in all devices. That's fine. And I want it to show only on the free access pass. So if they visit or they watch our courses into our free access pass they will receive this upsell pop-up for the all access pass which is the paid version so that's the goal for that and then let's just use an exit pop-up for now so i'm going to use one yeah two seconds delay and yeah we're really good in the logic part now it's time to work on the designing of the pop-up now in here i use a tool called conversion ai to help me generate a good copywriting style because i'm not a copywriter although conversion ai is not really perfect you really cannot rely on that tool as your full um you know full material for um creating copyright ups but it can serve you as a guide an idea of what would be something you can write on so i want to grab this part upgrade so I'm going to generate a coupon code after if you want me to create a tutorial for that. But that's really how it works, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Email me at hiatbookroomhead.com. Happy to check that out. And again, if you also want to try conversion.ai, you can use the link below to get a 1,000 credits. And of course, to those who haven't tried Learn World yet, you can use my link below to get free 30 days trial. <laughs> Thank you.